I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about trigonometric substitution. In problem number 21, we'd like to evaluate the integral of dx divided by x squared times the square root of x squared plus 9. Alright, so the strategy here again is the first thing I want to do is say, okay, I'm doing a trigonometric substitution. What type of trigonometric substitution am I using? So I've got an x squared plus 9 on the bottom. x squared plus 9 is like x squared plus a squared. x squared plus a squared. So the x squared plus a squared form tells me that I should make the substitution that x is equal to a tangent theta. a in this case, this is a squared, so that's 3 tangent theta. So if this is x, dx is 3 secant squared theta d theta. Alright, so the first thing I did is what's the form? Then I put in the appropriate substitution, find out what dx is, and now I'm ready to write in my substitution. So this is the integral of dx is the top, so on top now I have 3 secant squared theta d theta divided by x squared, well that's this guy squared, which is 9 tangent squared theta times the square root of x squared, which is 9 tangent squared theta, plus 9. Okay, so I've made my trig substitution and we're right here. Now that we're here, you see inside this radical I have a 9 as a common factor. So I could factor out the 9 and in fact I could pull it all the way outside of the square root as a 3. If I pull this out as a 3, it will cancel the 3 on top. So in some sense I'm canceling this 3 on top with these two 9's that are under the radical. Okay, so now that that's done, I still have this 9 sitting here and I can factor that 9 out as a 1 9th. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> so first thing I want to do here is let's bring that 1 9th out and then I have integral. On top I have secant squared theta d theta. On the bottom I still have tangent squared theta and then here I have the square root of tangent squared theta plus 1. And we know that tangent squared theta plus 1 is the same thing as secant squared of theta. So now I'm going to replace this tangent squared theta plus 1 with secant squared theta. Let's do it. I can rewrite this as 1 ninth integral of secant squared theta d theta divided by tangent squared theta times the square root of secant squared theta and we're done. Now obviously the square root of secant squared theta is just a secant of theta so one secant of theta here cancels one of the secant thetas on top so in some sense this whole guy cancels one of those secant thetas and we can rewrite this. So let's do it. Up here I get a ninth uh, integral of, I have a secant of theta, d theta, on top, and on the bottom now I just have tangent squared theta. Alright, so what I think I want to do now is let's rewrite this thing using sines and cosines instead of secants and tangents. So I have to think about this for a second. Uh, a secant of theta is the same as a cosine of theta on the bottom. So on the bottom here I'm going to have a cosine of theta because of that secant theta on top. Tangent of theta is a sine over a cosine. 
But if I flip and multiply that, it's a cosine over a sine. So I have cosine, uh, okay, so I'll have, in other words, two cosines on top and two sines on the bottom. So I have a cosine squared theta on top and a sine squared theta on the bottom, d theta. One of those cosines cancels and I'm left with one ninth integral. I have a cosine theta on top. I have a sine squared of theta on the bottom, d theta. All right, uh, now I can make an, a simple u substitution for sine of theta. So I'm just gonna let u be sine theta. So du would be cosine theta d theta. So I can make this substitution and I get one ninth, the integral of, well the whole top just becomes du and the bottom is just u squared. So now we have a very simple integral. Let's integrate it. When I do, I get one ninth times, when I take the antiderivative of u to the negative two, I get u to the negative one times negative one. So I get negative uh, one over u plus c. Now we have to remind ourselves, what is u? In this case, u is sine of theta. So I could rewrite this. This is negative one ninth uh, times one over sine theta. One over sine theta has another name. Uh, we call it cosecant of theta. So this is cosecant of theta plus c. Okay. Uh, but we're still not done because now we have the answer in terms of theta and we don't have the answer in terms of x. So we go back and we say, okay, x is three tangent theta. So I'll erase a little bit here. X is three tangent of theta. So tangent of theta is X over three. We can use a reference triangle now, and we can say if this is theta, then this is x and this is three, because tangent of theta is the opposite over the adjacent, which means that this uh, side up here will be x squared plus nine. And now we're ready. Cosecant is the same as one over sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. And so we can rewrite this as minus one ninth uh, hypotenuse, which is square root of x squared plus nine over opposite, which is x plus c. And now we have this thing written in terms of x and we have our final answer.